Hey guys, in today's video I wanted to talk to you about propagations that you let get away from you. Uh, one specific thing I wanted to point out is when you let them sit in water for a bit too long and the roots get tangled up. I do have an example here. You can see this is my rose bouquet that I made from cuttings, uh, cutting some roses from my yard and a couple from my mom's. This yellow one was for my mom's. It's actually a rose bush that used to be in my grandma's yard. Uh, again, another reason I like plants and gardening so much is because it does contain a bit of nostalgia and some memories. You can get similar plants if you can't get a cutting or the plant that belonged to the person you loved. And it just takes you back. It's almost like spending time with them again. So I do like to bring bouquets in from time to time, like I say, when there's enough plants, why not? Uh, you can see here, I do have my spider plant propagation that was in the vase. It is pretty tangled. So all you wanna do here is, it's easiest to try and separate it with whatever you can come loose or break loose first. You can see we got one there. Not much damage to the roots. So just if you can, start to go around the clump and see what you can get off. Again, like I say, if there's too much resistance, just leave it alone. You could do more damage than good, so. Do as much detangling as possible. See if you can get your fingers in there. Maybe a little bit of wiggling might help. Now this was only, I'd say maybe about a month in the water there. So it hasn't been very long at all. I wouldn't think it would be this tangled. Get my hand out of the way so you can actually see what I'm doing. And as long as you don't pull too hard they should all come out apart pretty easily without too much damage. Oh, you could hear I snapped one there. But so far, let me see. Let's shake them all loose and see how many broken roots we got. That. That's not bad compared to how tangled they were. I think I did break off one. Uh, leaf too so I'm going to show all the damage I did but since these are fairly well rooted I mean they should have been planted uh, I'd say about three weeks ago <laughs> I some things I do like to like get big roots like these these you can keep in water or you can put in soil they'll live either way I've had some in water for I don't know, I'd say about two months, I forgot about them. And I mean, I did top them off every once in a while or they would have died, but I forgot I needed to take them out. I figured, you know, I'm just watering it. You can see some examples of the different sizes of roots. They're all pretty good, uh, pretty good size, the same size as the cup was anyway. They couldn't get much bigger than that. I think that's our smallest. But uh, I do like to put a couple plants or propagations in a plant uh, pot when I plant them. That way it doesn't look so sad. I do have potting soil here that I amended with a little bit of uh, poison for some bugs because I did notice quite a bit of bugs. I did have to change potting soils. I noticed that my last one that I got, it, the the brand that I got had been fine. It was working okay. But the last bag that I got, I don't know if it was rushed or what, but it compacted very hard and wasn't letting the roots breathe. So you gotta make sure your soil's not binding up too much. And it also did have a uh, infestation of a couple types of bugs, one of them being uh, ape, not aphids, gnats, which, they don't do much damage to us. I mean, they will ruin your plant if you let them. But 
they're more irritating than anything. And really, who wants to deal with bugs? So on here, nothing special, just potted up to the crown of the plant. That's where the leaves start coming out and the roots stop. Uh, air plants are very easy. You kind of can't uh, mess them up too bad because if I take this one here and show you, you can see how it curls around. If we get a close up there. This was a pup that was on the plant for I'd say about a year. So it did curl, you can see the root system start to curl and go up. Everywhere it puts out a leaf, it will have an aerial root inside. Uh, if you take off the leaves and bury it a little deeper, you can have a bigger root system. I wouldn't advise going too far because if you do take off too much, you can kill it. But from my experience, air plants are pretty resilient. Uh, I will pot those up, I will finish the job. We have one here, you can see, pretty nice cool little plant for uh, new propagation. Now anytime you do switch from water to uh, soil-based uh, propagations, you do want to keep the soil moist for about a week, not dripping wet, but hit it up with just a little bit of water every other day, I would say, just to make sure. Uh, not like water to where it's coming out, just two, three seconds over the top just to make sure it stays moist, not wet. Uh, you can also use a spray bottle, hit it with a spray bottle a couple times. I'd say the same thing, like maybe two or three pulls of the trigger and you should be good. Just don't let them dry out too much. If you do, you can lose them or you can uh, set them back. You can make the roots dry off. There again, you don't want them too moist because then you can create issues, root rot, you can attract bugs like gnats because they love uh, the fungus that grows in moist soil. So I hope this helps. There is ch a chance you can get your roots untangled if you have patience and work at it slowly. Thank you for watching.